Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AD744. So today, guys, we'll do my quick match reaction to Group D action. So we got Colombia 2, Paraguay new. I mean, sorry, Paraguay 1. I got to say, Colombia, that first half, were pretty good. I was really, I was I was happy with Colombia, how they did the first half. But the second half, man, was a bit unconvincing because as good as Colombia were in the first half, they weren't creating a lot of good opportunities. I, I It kind of feels like they won this game because of James Rodriguez. Hamas Rodriguez put those lovely two crosses in, and they got the two goals. That Lerma goal, fantastic header there, you know. And then obviously the other header was by Munoz. But yeah, I mean, I just think for Colombia, man, they were really unconvinced in that first half and the second half, man. I actually have to admit, I think uh, Paraguay actually played decent. You know, it's CISO getting that goal there. Great, great, lovely combination there. And they actually had some chances to draw a level right at the end, but they just couldn't. They just have enough quality. And Colombia did have a penalty appeal at the end, but... Yeah, I just think for Colombia, man, they got to improve, man. Like, I, they have to improve as a team because Luchema is out, who is a big, big blow, and they have to bring on Yermamina. And I'm sorry, Yermamina is not that guy. Yermamina is not the same as before. The Yermamina now is washed, I'm sorry to say. So having a back line of Yermamina and Davis and Sanchez, uh, I'm not sure that's going to be good for them. That Now, it might be fine for them in a group stage, but in terms of knockouts, this is where I worry for them. Um, obviously, Luis Diaz didn't have a good game. He was very un ineffective. Bore was there. Eh. Hamas was amazing. He was cooking. I thought Arias, Alerma, Rios was great. The midfield was good, I'd say. The defense is just the Colombia need more goal scorers in the team. But, like, that's the problem with Colombia is that they're a good team, but they need more players to step up, you know. And as for Paraguay, I'm a bit surprised that Gustavo Gomez didn't start, who is one of the most integral players. And I'm surprised that Miguel didn't start. And Miguel Amaria, man, he's a, he's he's terrible. He's 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 washed for Paraguay, and you saw that when he came off, they just looked a lot more effective. And Ciso obviously getting a goal. And yeah, I think for Paraguay, they they should feel happy with this result. You know, their next game is against Brazil, which we'll get on to Brazil in a bit. That 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 they could get something. They could get something against Brazil. And for Colombia, as I said, man, good win indeed. But they have to perform better. We need to see more from Luis Diaz, Bore. We need to see more from them. And I'm just hoping that. The Colombia, those injuries aren't too fatal. Like, hopefully they'll be back for the next couple. Uh, hopefully they aren't out for too long. Because if they are, it really ruins uh, Colombia's chances of, of winning the Copa America. Might be Lerma and Luchema. And so, yeah, man. Uh, great performance from Arios and Sanchez. And, yeah. I think for Colombia, man, they have to improve the second half. Because if you look at the overall stats, guys. Overall stats here. Five shots. Oh, sorry. Overall right here. 11 shots, three on target. Whereas Paraguay had 12 shots, three on target. They actually created more bigger chances. So the fact that Paraguay actually managed to claw a goal back may be crucial for them for goal difference. Now we'll move on to the other game. The, the, the game that I, I it, it, the game that we're all here for. Brazil versus Costa Rica, guys. Guys, a lot of people said when the groups were drawn that Brazil might get grouped. I even had that belief as well. But I knew that, hey, Brazil's too good. They, they, they surely aren't going to get grouped, right? Because I'm sorry, with all due disrespect, Paraguay and Costa Rica are very, very mediocre. The fact that Brazil tied against Costa Rica is quite shocking. It's embarrassing. We had 74% possession. You had 90 shots, three on target is wild. And I know some Brazilians are going to say, oh, we got robbed in this game. We had the goal that was disallowed for Marquinhos. And we had a penalty appeal. No. No, you can't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Brazil, don't do that, because this is Costa Rica. This isn't some like this. It, it, you see now, if it was against like Argentina or uh, Uruguay or Colombia, I can maybe buy the I can maybe buy the whole thing. But I'm sorry, you can't be using refs. You can't be saying that you you tie this game because we're refereeing. Okay, you're at fault. You need to take the consequences. And I'm sorry to say, Brazil is washed, and we have to have this really uncomfortable convo, guys. Is Neymar really carrying this team? Because Neymar, for me, we saw what he did with this team. He, he looked what he did in the 2022 World Cup. Look what he did in the 2021 Copa America. Those two tournaments he bowled out for the national team. But Brazil didn't deliver. The teammates didn't deliver. And I'm sorry, how do you have 19 shots, three on target? It's crazy. Rodrigo, underwhelming. Vinicius, disaster class. Vinicius was awful. Guys, let's be real. Vinicius is not that guy for Brazil. And I think if I'm Dorval Jr., you have to bench Vinicius. You have to bench Vinicius for the next game. Andrik has to start. Andrik has to start. Rafinha was eh. I actually think Rafinha was decent on the day. But Quetta, Guemarez, Gomez, 
it's just that attack for Brazil is so bad. Like, how do you have three shots on target when you have 19 shots? It's crazy. And Sakura, man, shout out to Costa Rica goalkeeper, man. This is, I think, his, like, he's getting his new caps here. Obviously, Kalen Alves is now retired and how he's the back, a number one goalkeeper. And, man, he put out a good display there, a good display. But the thing for Brazil is I didn't really create any quality, quality chances. And, yeah, for Brazil, as I said, man, it's just embarrassing. In the second half, only 10 shots, one on target is wild to me. And for Brazil, man, looking at this group right here, guys, is there a possibility Brazil can get grouped? Because for me, it's going to come down to that Paraguay game. If they don't beat Paraguay, they're in big trouble. They're in big trouble. Now, if they beat Paraguay, which let's assume they should, because let's be real, they should. I'll put them on four points. Colombia, you would expect them to beat Costa Rica six. So then it'll come down to the final match day, and which, yeah. So basically, for Brazil, as I said, it, they put themselves now in a bad position where they need uh, Paraguay. They need to beat Paraguay. And they got to hope that Paraguay-Costa Rica game ends, maybe ends in a draw because this group can come down to goal difference in a second place. If assuming that Costa Rica, uh, uh, Colombia take care of business. So for Brazil, man, this is embarrassing. This is unacceptable. We'll see if they get grouped, man. We'll see if they get grouped. But I, I'm not going to go so far as say they'll get grouped yet because uh, I still think it's a bridge too far. But you never know, man. You never know. But anyways, hope you guys did enjoy this quick little reaction to both games here, guys. Um, please remember to like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.